my name is Eileen Perez and I'm an astrophysicist and this is How Do Planets Orbit a Multistar System? So uh, the second that we start adding stars, uh, the situation for the orbits becomes really complicated. Finding a stable orbit is possible around binary stars, but um, there are several criterions and it's a very advanced discussion topic. And I would try to just mention a couple of things. Um, tree, or, uh, tree body problem is a very difficult problem in physics. And, um, and these criterions are described by Hill's criterions. And for this video, I would say, uh, I'm going to give an example of one of the Hill's criterions. Um, let's say you have two stars, and they have the same mass. So m1 is equal to m2. If you have the planet orbiting one of them, just let's say that you have a planet that is only orbiting m1, this distance is very crucial. By the way, let's keep this in mind. It has to orbit some point, some fraction, uh, uh, less than that distance. So to, in order to find a stable orbit around a single star, it has to orbit at a spacing less than d. Now, if it wants to orbit uh, both stars, the, um, the spacing has to be far larger than this distance d. It has to be very large than distance d because it has to be able to see uh, these two masses as almost as a singular mass. So if you're far enough away, you kind of just feel one, sing one central mass. And this is one of the criterions by Hills. And another thing that uh, I want to talk about, a lot of people think um, uh, figure eights can happen. Uh, they can, but they're really unstable orbits. And in fact, a lot of planets get kicked out the, of the binary system because of this. So uh, figure eight orbits are not stable. My name is Eileen Perez and I'm an astrophysicist and these are some ways in which the planet can orbit a binary system.